All right, we're here with my coach, Coach GRC. Coach Cherry, coach, coach, you my coach, coach. I ain't nobody's coach. Coach, man, you know. Uh, Everybody picks against us. Coach, coach, that's that. As we found out earlier, every time I picked <laughs> you, I think I did you a disservice <laughs> for my Cardinals. Like I tell people, and nothing is bad as an angry Cardinal. Mm -hmm. Coach, we angry this season, coach. They done, they done moved Frederick Douglass into our district. Yep. First of all, let me hold on. Let me back up. Let me back up. Coach, how has it been? Your transition here, welcoming you to GRC, coming from the eastern part of Kentucky I, state championship. It's been great. Uh, Clark County's been good to me. You know, uh, we obviously got to win more games. We got to do a better job coaching. Um, but they've been good to me. It's it's uh, you know, it's a transition of the number of players and things like that. So, uh, but I've enjoyed it. I've really liked it. Now. We've I've talked to other coaches before. I even talked to Coach Hol Hol Coach Holcomb, mm -hmm. coming from Eastern Kentucky. Yep. How has been your adjustment to the culture here? As far as I know, it's a big difference that he talked about from Eastern Kentucky. You know, coming there, Paintsville, where football was pretty much everything. Yeah. To coming here, you know, where it, it, do you find that? No, I. You know, I. I don't. I don't think that. Um, it's that big of a switch. Kids want to play for people they like. Kids are more knowledgeable today. They get on the internet. They have an answer before they ask the question most of the time. <laughs> so, you know, when they see that they can trust you and they, they, that you deeply care about them and love them. And that's the one thing, probably the hardest thing in year one was getting them to trust me and believe mm -hmm. in me. Uh, because they do see the guy coming from Eastern Kentucky and I have that, you know, I talk how I talk, and, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm just who I am. Um, but I came from – my high school was a big school like like GRC, not quite as big. But, you know, I'm used to the big things that, that, that big schools present. And we just keep everybody marching in the same direction and everybody believing that, hey, we can all be successful playing every sport, playing all the things we do. Okay. Now, last season you were 7-4. and four. You know, coming into this season, mm -hmm. coming into the off season, what were you doing, and how were things going this off season as far as getting GRC ready for this upcoming season? Kids have worked hard. You know, our, my staff's been involved big time through the off season. We were we were getting kids together at six a.m. Uh, since uh, January, so um, that's a big commitment. When kids get out of bed and mm -hmm. School doesn't start till eight thirty, and they're in the in the gym at six six o'clock in the morning, working out weights and you know going through drill work and stuff like that. It's, it's a it changes things, but what does that equate on the field? I don't know, but you know mm -hmm. our kids are working hard and they're they're doing a really good job. Okay, okay. Now we got Keelan Washington, aka Jaws. Yeah, you know this guy was was a legend around these parts yeah. in youth league football. He's doing big things for you. He'll be going into, I think, what is his junior year? Yep. What's your expectations for Keelan and how can how is he going to help this program? Jaws is a you know a great young man. He's a good, he's a really good football player, but he's a better young man. And he leads the team by example. He's a, the hardest worker. He's always putting in the extra reps. He I know there's some days I bet he worked out twice a day he's doing all the things he needs to do to show that he wants to be the guy, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and he's doing that by leading by example. Okay. Now, you, you're you losing Tyler Maxwell, yep. who had, you know, great numbers, did big things for you. Yep. How do you replace him in this, this coming up season? Well, I mean, I don't know that we can replace Tyler. You know, he's a – Again, I say this, I, I'm about the kid first and the player second. So what a great uh, kid he is and, and just a good – his family did a good job raising him and all my kids that, that we've had. But, um, you know, we're just going to try to do our best to get somebody in there to be a signal caller. We've got, you know, a couple guys fighting for the job and um, we'll see who wins it out. All right, Coach. Now, looking at this upcoming schedule, seems like you got a little homesick just a little bit, Coach. I know you'll be taking a trip to Pine Creek. Yep. 
I know you kind of, you know, I mean, I know you're familiar with that place, are you not? Yeah. Okay, and then Pulaski. Yep. So, Coach, man, uh, just looking at this schedule, you've got Central Harden, Belfry, Pulaski, Henry Clay, Ballard. you got Montgomery County. Then you get into your district, which they, they kind of didn't help you much <laughs> on the district. KHSA hey, got personal with you, just right. roughed you up a little right. bit. Right. You got Station, Central, and Douglas. Yep. That, that's quite a gauntlet there, Coach. It is. And, but, you know, you got you to gotta play them all, as they say. You know, <laughs> uh, you can't win it all without playing them all. So, and the schedule has to be as tough as it can be. And uh, like Coach Hawkins said uh, earlier is, you know, the schedule has to be as tough as it can be to prepare you for a playoff run, to do anything. And six day football is no joke. At any any moment, any team on the schedule or during the playoffs can win. And you got to prepare your team to be hardened to go mm-hmm. run that gauntlet. All right, coach. As you go into the season, what are what are some of the things that you're not, I don't want to say not concerned with, but what are some of the strengths of your team? And then what are the things that are kind of keeping you up late at night as you get ready for the season? Well, the things that keep me up late at night are Brian Station, Madison, <laughs> Frazier, Douglas. Those are all the things that keep me up all night. But, uh, you know, our, the thing that I like about our team mm-hmm. is their their willingness to absorb coaching and the the want to work. And they're not shying away from the hardness that practice is at GRC. And, you know, um, it's just my style is I believe in working hard and uh, good things happen. So, and they've, they've accepted that and, and, and really taken that and ran. All right, Coach. Well, we look forward to big things out of my GRC Cardinals. Everybody know I love my Cardinals, Coach. I and uh, I still haven't taken in a game at the Starship Enterprise. That is a beautiful facility we have there. Yep. They've but, done uh, a real good job in Clark County. You know, but uh, for 40 years, they didn't have anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, um, one thing I'm excited about, we've got, we've got um, I don't know if you follow anything on Twitter, we have our – uh, Hall of Fame game we're, we're doing. They just actually opened the Hall of Fame at, at uh, GRC. Okay. And they, they inducted some some players in, in basketball season. They're going to induct some players during our Central Harden game. And we're, we're you know, uh, I'm excited about that. And we've got uh, a tribute helmet we're going to try to do uh, okay. for the old Oliver High School in in. Winchester was a, a high school there, and we're going to celebrate them on that same day. So it's I'm excited about what the community is, is willing to do in Clark County to to get some excitement around the football program. Absolutely. And one thing about Clark County, they love their Cardinals, man. Yeah, they, do. they do. They come out big, and they support them. Coach, man, is there anything else before we get out of here, Coach? Uh, I, I, you're asking a question. <laughs> I just try to answer them. Hey, what's Coach Cherico, man? It's been a great pleasure talking to you. Like I said, since we met when you were going into that state championship yeah. game, uh, congratulations on that again, by Thank chance. You. Thank you. And uh, keep doing big things, Coach. And maybe we'll see you in uh, yeah. Kroger Field, Coach. <laughs> I don't know. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Coach. <laughs>